Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the formula of volumetric strain for a thin spherical shell. So, let's get started. So here is a thin spherical shell with internal diameter small d. The thickness of the shell is small d. Both are in terms of mm. P is the internal pressure of the liquid or the fluid. It can be gas, vapor, anything which we are storing in, key, in this thin spherical vessel. Now to get the volumetric strain, first I will say that since the circumferential strain is given by the circumferential strain, the general formula is change in diameter upon original diameter, keeping it as equation first, because as we see here when this spherical shell is getting burst, then there would be change in the diameter and therefore when I apply the circumferential strain for the complete spherical shell that would be from Hooke's law, we can say that since the Young's modulus is stress upon strain, so therefore strain is stress, it is stress upon Young's modulus. So circumferential strain would be the circumferential stress upon Young's modulus. Now, when we see this, suppose in x direction, if the diameter is increasing, then along y it would be decreasing. So, when we are taking the circumferential strain, on one end the circumferential strain is increasing, then the other end it would go on decreasing. So, minus mu which is the Poisson's ratio into again the circumferential stress upon Young's modulus because from one side if the diameter increases, then on the other side it would be reducing. So, we have negative sign here. So, that is also the formula for the circumferential strain. Next, in order to get the volumetric strain, first I'll write down that since the volume of the sphere is given by, it is 4 upon 3 pi r cube. If I replace the radius with the diameter, then it will be, radius is half of diameter which is d. So this would be, 4 upon 3 pi d cube and here we have 2 cube which would be 8. So after the cancellation, therefore the volume of sphere in the form of diameter it comes out to be pi d cube by 6. The next step would be I would be differentiating this equation. So we have instead of v it would be delta v then pi by 6 would remain as it is for d cube it would be 3d square into delta d then after reaching up till here next step would be I am going to multiply that is after differentiating multiplying and dividing by d so that we get it in a proper way, proper form. So that would be, I want it in the form of volume. So volume is pi by 6 d cube. Here we have d square. When I multiply with this d, it becomes d cube. So pi d cube by 6. Here we have 3 delta d by d which is left. Now pi d cube by 6 is nothing but the original volume. denoted by v. Change in diameter by original diameter is nothing but the circumferential strain. So finally delta v would be equal to v into 3 into circumferential strain. So therefore when I bring this original volume on one side, 
change in volume upon original volume is equal to 3 times of EC and that is nothing but E suffix V that is the volumetric strain. So in other words we can say that the volumetric strain for a thin spherical shell is 3 times the circumferential strain and that circumferential strain is change in diameter upon original diameter and it can also be given by this formula considering that when over one of the axis the diameter increases on the other axis it has to reduce. So in short that was an explanation regarding volumetric strain for a thin spherical shell. At the end if you will find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.